Hey guys, what's good? Mike here, Like Your Talk. Let's talk about last night's final preseason game against the Suns, and let's talk about Lakers preseason as a whole and what we got to do to get better. We play Houston Rockets on Wednesday for our first regular season uh, game, and that should be exciting. Um, let's talk about last night's game. Last night's game was, uh, it was like, it, it, it was a dud. It was one of those games where, in my opinion, you want to kind of you throw away the tape and start over. But there are some good things you can take away from it. You still got to look at it as preseason. We didn't have our full squad. Luau Dang, who we gave a four-year contract to, hasn't played in the last couple games, the last week or so. Um, Moskov didn't play, who we also gave it a big four-year contract to. So obviously those are our two starters. We paid them a lot of money, so they got to start for us and play a lot of games and a lot of minutes for us uh, this year. Without those guys, we really can't tell, you know, consistently how our team is going to look. And then, you know, you got the last preseason game. So you got Luke playing certain guys at certain times again that, you know, really wasn't the best for our team. Outside of that, you got the Lakers shooting like crap. <clears throat> the, the Suns didn't shoot any better either. Both teams shot 31% from the field and both teams shot 25% from three. The Lakers are shooting a lot of a lot of three balls this year. Obviously, it's been shown in preseason. And when we shoot 25%, we're going to miss. I mean, we're going to get a lot of, you know, long rebounds and create a lot of easy buckets for the other teams on the other end. So we just had a bad shooting night. Uh, Nick Young, who's played well the last couple games, a few games, uh, really, uh, was was had a poor shooting night. Two of 11 or something like that. Two of eight from three. D'Angelo was one of six from three. Uh, Clarkson was like three of uh, you know 11 from the field. Missed all his three pointers or whatever. Um, Brand Brandon Ingram, who had a good game against Golden State, 21, seven and four, ended up with two points. Didn't even shoot the ball that much. I think he had three shots. Um, D'Angelo didn't shoot well, but he had a good stat line: 17, seven and six. Um, and it says a lot about him because, in my opinion, he had a subpar game. But that stat line is really good. So that just goes to show what we expect out of D'Angelo. Um, I forgot how many turnovers he had. Oh, or let me just say this. Um, or let me just talk about turnovers. So we had 24 turnovers. Again, too many turnovers. Um, I don't know how many D'Angelo had, but uh, let's see what he had. He had, um, let me see. Yeah, he had four turnovers, but the whole team had a lot of turnovers. Uh, Julius Randle played well, 15 and eight. Um, uh, Larry Nance Jr. had a good game, 10 and nine, one rebound away from a double-double. Um, I was at Outback Steakhouse for the second half of that game, and I was on Twitter, and everybody was like getting on Randle late because he missed those two free throws. And then I started getting on Randle a little bit, just cracking jokes. But when I got back home and watched the replay, Randle actually had a pretty good um, game and I I wasn't I have issues Randall has some deficiencies but I wasn't really pointing out it wasn't Randall's fault why we lost yesterday it was overall one horrible like too many turn, turnovers 24 turnovers um, I mean collectively bad perimeter defense from our guards and bad defense in turn you know from our interior um, so we gotta cut down the turnovers and work on our defense. Um, put a body on somebody and we can't shoot 25% from three or 39% from the field and expect to win games. That's just simple logic basketball. Um, outside of that, uh, D Booker, we thought, you know, Devin Booker, we thought, you know, because he's a rising star, we were expecting to see what he was gonna do against D'Angelo and he had, a, he had a terrible, he had a pretty subpar game, 12 points, something like that and um, wasn't really um, he, he didn't have a, a really good game so in my opinion Lakers lost because of our poor defense um, too many turnovers and poor shooting that's basically it Lakers preseason we I, I think I think I give us a C plus you know um, I expected us to be a little bit better um, I thought we should have beat the Suns 
and we should have, you know, we, in my opinion, we should have beat Denver twice. That's just my thing. Um, we lost those games because of too many turnovers and poor defense. So because of that, we have a lot, a lot, a lot of work to be done. But at the same time, Luke Walton needs to figure out his starting lineup. We had Lou Williams starting, you know, I don't know if we're going to start Jordan Clarkson or Lou Williams or Nick Young at the two. Um, obviously, we're going to start Dang at the three and bring Brandon Ingram off the bench. You know, we're going to start Mozgov at the, at the five and Randall at the four. So the question is whether Randall played well last game. I think he's going to continue to start. Um, a lot of fans, you know, we, we always call out his deficiencies. But I think for right now, let him start and see what happens. But I think uh, over the next few weeks, when we get the ball rolling in the regular season, we'll know exactly where our deficiencies lie. And But I'm really concerned. I, I, I don't want, I think if we start Lou Williams, Lou Williams at the two, he just drives me nuts with his just inconsistent play at the at at the two. You know, he has these running jump shots. I think that just kills us, kills the momentum of the game a lot. And um, so, and also I noticed Jordan Clarkson, one thing I noticed about Jordan Clarkson is his, his shot, his jumper is a little flat. He needs a little higher arc on his jumper to be more of a consistent two and more of a better consistent shooter in my opinion. Um, outside of that, again, we have to see our starting lineup and see us play for a few weeks to really know the holes in our team. Outside of that, from what I saw yesterday, yesterday was a 25 win team, um, you know, but if we play at the pace in what we showed against Golden State, that in my opinion is a 30 plus win team. So that's my thoughts about yesterday's game and preseason. I don't wanna to go too much in detail on each player and nitpick here and there you you know it is what it is it's preseason we have to get the ball rolling in regular season now and really step up guys need to make a play there's only so many practices you can do there's only so many drills you can do guys are just gonna have to man up put a body on somebody d up cut down the turnovers and make a play our individual players are going to have to outplay other players and that's if we don't do that, we're going to lose a lot of games. If we do that, we're going to win a lot of games. That's my thoughts for right now, guys. Hit me up in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, more videos to come until the season starts. Thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing. As always, follow me on Twitter at MikeSportsLA. We'll talk soon, guys. Peace.